Let's face it, we all love Google Sheets. It's free, it's easy to use, you can use it everywhere, it's fast and it's smart. But there's a big downside to Google Sheets. It's nasty, there's nothing appealing to it. It's just rows and columns. And for that reason, there's a plugin that I want to show you that's called WP Table Live Sync. That's a WordPress plugin that you can display these Google Sheets in a really nice looking way. So it's appealing and it's attractive for viewers to actually look at these tables. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? We're going to check out WP Table Live Sync and they do have a free version. It does have a few limitations as you can see right here, but it's still really usable in the free version. On this case, I'm gonna show you the paid version so you can see the full features of WP Table Live Sync. So let's go jump over to my WordPress site. And like I said, what we are, what we're going to do is beautify our Google Sheets to display it on our WordPress site really easily, okay? So all you have to do is jump into the plugins, add new, and install Sheets to WP Table Live Sync. Once you have it activated, you are good to go, okay? So once you do that, this is what we're gonna look at, okay? So this is where we're gonna be able to add our new tables. It's super easy, right? But let me show you how one of these actually display. So if I open up this one that I created, which is Cloudways, I'm gonna be able to view our Google Sheet right here. So here we go. So this is actually way better than what you see over there at Google Sheets. Plus you get additional functions like search bar, downloads, etc. For example, in the customization, you have your themes. So depending what you like, you can go ahead and set it here. Dark mode, rows with colors, etc. All that right here. You can layouts, style, utility, etc. Okay. So let's start off with a brand new one. Let's go ahead and create a table. All it's going to ask us is for the Google Sheet URL. So let's go ahead and grab that right now. So this is a Google Sheet right here. You can see it's a simple Cloudways features list right here. And what I have to do is click on share, make sure that this is on set to anyone with the link. By default, it's restricted. So set it to anyone with the link, copy this link, jump over to our plugin right here on WordPress, create a table, and you're gonna see loading the preview down here. There we go. Let's go ahead and name this Cloudways 2. In this case, I already added one. So we're gonna be able to view our entries set by default by 10, 15, 25, etc. We're gonna view the list, the pages, and a search bar. It doesn't stop there. This is just like the icing on the cake. Okay, so now you can display this and embed it on your WordPress site. But before we do that, let's start off by beautifying this table. So let's jump over to display settings. And first of all, we have the tabletop elements. We have entries and search box. So if I wanna hide this, see how it disappears? Or if I wanna hide the search bar, if I don't wanna display that, or if I do, in this case, I do wanna have it, or just switch it around. Maybe I want the search bar on the left, which I do. Again, I can hide title, disable sorting, table bottom elements. So on the bottom, we have the hide entry info. You can see that, which I don't wanna show. Hide pagination, I'll leave that on. Next we have is table customization, okay? So this is really neat. You hit, you give the users the ability to download. If you wanna give them access to Excel, JSON, PDF, CSV, print, copy, depending what you want to use this display, table as, well, you can enable these or disable them if you like, okay? Link redirection behavior. So if they click on a link inside of here, Will it open in the current window or will it open in a new window? So in this case, by default, open a new window. Cache tables for faster loading time. Of course we want that, okay? Next, style. In the style, we have the expanded version or the wrapped version. So depending how you want it to display, you can go ahead and select this. I recommend wrapped when you have images on your sheet, then wrapped is better because if the image is bigger, small, etc., with wrapped, it's going to size it all to the same size. So it's way better. Responsive style, default, collapsible style, or scrollable style. Import colors and text styles from sheet. So if you have colors displayed here, it's going to import it. So if this box was green or something like that, it will display it over here, okay? Next we have is the layout. So how many rows do you wanna show per page? So in this case, there's more than 10 rows and that's why there's two pages. But if I set it to 25, for example, there won't be two pages once I save that, okay? Default height, do I wanna leave it as is or what, do I wanna change it? So I can set that there. And once I save that, it's going to obviously update. Next we have is theme. You have your default style, which is grayish with white. We have striped table. See how it gives it another look. Dark table, so if you wanna go to the dark side, this is the one to go. Tailwind style, 
colored column. I like this one because when you have several columns, it, I like how it looks with purple, white, purple, white. It's just really easy to read the table, okay? Hover style. In this case, also like my favorite one, colored column, okay? And then we're gonna go to hide rows and columns. So you have several options here. You can hide columns, for example, on desktop or mobile view. For example, in this case, desktop is selected. So if I click on something like this, for example, this column, um, I'll just click on it, okay? This will not display on desktop. This is the way I have it. And if I don't, if I want to do the other way around, I click on this one, okay? If I want to get rid of this and I do want to display everything, I leave that. You can do this for rows and for sales. So if I want to do a specific sale or there's a specific pricing, maybe I can hide a specific sale. So I'll just select this one and it's going to hide only that cell, okay? So I'm going to leave it like that just so you can see that in the preview. So let's go ahead and save this. There we go. And we have our short code. Short codes are used on WordPress, which is super easy to embed on any page that you want or post. So in this case, I'm going to select this one. There we go. It's copied. Let's go into pages. Let's go ahead and add a new page. And in this page, let's give it a title. We'll just say table. And we are going to add a code block. Okay, so short code here. Let's go ahead and select it. Add our short code. Let's go ahead and publish this right here. Publish. Let's go ahead and view the page. And here we go. We now have a live looking table. That's really nice. Instead of this nasty thing over here, which has nothing appealing to it, we have a nice looking table with neat features. So we have a search bar. We have the downloads right here. We have pagination. We have the hidden field right here that we've selected. So remember, we can select what we want to hide. So it's really good options that we don't have available on Google Sheets, nor we can embed it on WordPress site. There's also the pages here. I can customize the table. I have this option because I'm logged in. If I wasn't logged in, I wouldn't get that option, okay? So we can beautify this. Instead of using the normal Google Sheet thing, we can use this that's gonna make it look better. Now, there's more tools to this than just that. So let's go back into our settings here. Sheets to table. So we're able to view all the tables right here, grab the short code for the tables that we have, but we can also create customized tabs based on different tables that we have. So if we go to manage tab right here, I've created one right here. So I've created a tab for the Cloudways Google sheet that I have and another versus sheet that I have in one single section. So now I have a short code for this, but let's go ahead and create one really quick. So let's go back into manage tab, manage new tab. And in this case, I'm going to name it uh, new. And we're going to add the tab first. So tab one will be, uh, I can name it something or just leave it as tab. So I'll say cloud waste. That's the one I have right now. Select the table. Let's so this one. I'll select the number two. Here we go. Next tab is going to be the versus sheet that I have. So I'm going to select it. P cloud versus ice drive. And I can add more tabs to this. And there's a few options here. High type group by title or tab position before the table or after the table. Let's go ahead and save this. I grab my short code again. Let's go into a page. Let's use the page that we just created. Let's go ahead and edit this. Let's replace this code or just put it on the bottom of this. If you like, let's go ahead and update it and let's go view our page. Here we go. Now we have a tabs section here, which is tabs feature that we have Cloudway and we have the verses. Check that out. Like this versus one that's let me show you the Google sheet for this one. That looks really bad. And this one looks nice. Check this out. So this is what I have right now. So it's like, I don't know. It doesn't look good. And then we show it over here and it looks way better, right? So we have the information, P cloud, ice drive. It's like a versus one that you can display. So just like that, we can create different tabs right here, which makes things really interesting. So if you have something that you need to display some data, some charts, some information for a company or just whatever you want to display that looks really nice, you can do it with this plugin and using Google Sheets. So you have the all the power of Google Sheets, except looking nice. And then you have this plugin that's going to make everything beautiful so you can display it on your WordPress site. Plus, it's going to be really easy to embed it on your site. There's also the settings for this documentation. If you want to check those out, the recommended plugins and the pro license. Like I said, like I said, I am showing you the pro license. But if you want to grab the free version, if that's enough for you, Go ahead and grab that in the WordPress repository, which I'll leave the link in the description. Well, that's a wrap for WP Table Live Sync, and see you later.